How's it going, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I want to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Trent Rajoni 235 Crimson Caption 5 Jade Rasmussen Dusk Dovahkiin Noah Morgan Banana Peel RF Ash Lopez Cold Philly Kevin J. Coleman Thomas Bereda Tommy Hill Aaron White Crispy Bacon Oscar Zephyr Commander Nom Nom Sabaly, Owen Zach Noah Barnhart Canadian Caesar Matt Way JD Cheese Soda Omega Ross Lingard Rogue Knight The Tin Man 1996 Thomas A. Beatty Kendra Maxey Dr. Pepper 225 Jacob Huffman The Names Do Tunnel Rat Catmere Benjamin Callahan Nguyen Ang Kwan Brony Time Matthew B Smooth Weaver Himora 13 Pro Tomahawker Wong Varaya and as always I want to give a big shout out to our executive producer Bevan Brummett thank you all very much for your support and if you want to become a Patreon supporter feel free to click the link in the description to find out more we'll see you there oh god and get okay oh come on oh it's still not over Woo. one of your favorite YouTubers my favorite YouTuber Okay, his favorite YouTuber, Caleb City. Uh, <laughs> a dude that Nick has introduced me to, and every time a new one of uh, Caleb City's videos comes out, he's just like, dude, 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 <laughs> check it out, check it out. This is so fucking funny. And here's the thing. Sometimes people show me stuff, and I don't find it funny. There's never been a time you've shown me a Caleb City video, <laughs> and I have not been just, like, howling in some regards because uh, I remember this, the first one you ever showed it's me was extremely good stuff well the first one you ever showed me was the Sekiro one yeah that one was just oh <laughs> it's just fucking oh. like it's like no there's no way he just deflected that bullet I was like that oh, that must have been a trick of the light boom you have a good day <laughs> good what out. do you do after that it's like homeboy <laughs> deflected a fucking bullet two bullets two, yeah two bullets Jesus. She sets his gun down, walks away. You have a good day. You have a good day. <laughs> it's like that would be me if I was a villain in a video game. Jesus. <laughs> you have a good day. You have a good day, sir. <laughs> I'll see you. What? That's impossible. Uh, so, yeah. We are here to show our support for Caleb City, as you can see here. We bought his U2s, you know, show, and uh, it's, a, it's a very nice U2s, by the way. Uh, it's uh, the blue energy that's surrounding him and all that is uh, Pretty very... Dope. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dope. It's a very, very cool. Oh, you want to come over here and uh, enjoy and join us, Vega? Hey, Vega. Hey, Mr. Kitty. You, hey, Vega. You know Caleb City? Oh, oh. Oh, he said no. No. You wanna, you wanna get to know him, buddy? Come on. Get on up there. Get some pet pets from Papa. Come here. There hey. he goes. Hey, Mr. Kitty. There's a good boy. So we have here Caleb City. This is this is his most popular video. If uh, people want us to watch more of his stuff or his more recent stuff, like it, it's consistently funny. There's nothing else to say. This dude's just consistently funny. And if you all want us to watch more, feel free to let us know in the comments below. But uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and hop on into this. This is Caleb City when the hero is just as smart as the villain. Oh, so you're the legendary thief that everybody tried so hard to catch. Who was asking? The one of course. Okay, first off, why do y'all do that? Who's asking? What do you expect me to say to that? You you just giving yourself away, and and I and, and what what do I say? What do I say after that? Stupid. Like at least try to like act like you don't know English or something. Be more creative. Like, <laughs> like oh, uh, sorry, I don't I don't speak with. Like, never mind. I'm getting off topic. Que pasó? ¿Se cómo se dice? I'm the guy that's gonna catch you. Oh, really? With what evidence? Oh, there's plenty of evidence. Like what's in the hoodie pocket? What? This bottle? Why would a simple water bottle incriminate? Shake it. <laughs> You're smarter than you look. The line doesn't work here. But anyways, <laughs> I have reason to believe that you tried to steal a key to a safe that held millions upon millions of dollars. However, 
I swapped that key with a banana before you got to it. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Impressive. But I only expected that. Really? I yes, really. I expected you to swap that out with this banana. So, I managed to steal the key before I stole it and implant it into the banana that you would swap it with. <laughs> the one that you have is a Bruh. fake replica key that I made. Funny you should say that, because I knew you would make a fake key. So I stole the fake key that you made and swapped it with the real one. So that when you inevitably swap the real one with the fake one, you would actually put the real one back in its place. In other words, the one in that banana is the fake one. <laughs> Very clever, but I thought ahead. I planted bombs around the city that I could detonate at any moment in several locations. If you don't give me the key right now. Now, what will it be? The key or destruction? Bro, that's a garage door opener. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would say. It's like, there ain't no bomb detonator. It's a fucking garage door opener. <laughs> it's a hard decision. It's a good thing I don't have to pick. Because this is the battery to your detonator. I'd be angry if I didn't already put the bombs on a backup timer. I'd be pressed if we didn't already disarm them. I'd be upset if I didn't. You might want to answer that. Uh oh. Hello? Yeah, I'm calling back this number uh, because your dry cleaner is I knew you would disarm the bombs. That's why I placed extra bombs at your dry cleaner. You'll never enjoy unwrinkled clothes again. You'll have to iron them like everyone else. <laughs> that sucks. Because we relocated the bombs. It reminds me of so Sunny. Cleaners. It's like, dude, that's so weird. That's like long term shit. <laughs> that's so freaking. Like, uh, why would you do that? That's so long term. That's like. Because in that scene, it's like, Frank. It's, gonna, it, it's like, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm doing his taxes. So whenever he files them, the IRS will audit the piss out of him. <laughs> that's, again, yeah. That's then it's like, dude, that's so weird. That's like long term shit. I love it. <laughs> if I were here, I'd be like, dude, it was my favorite drunk here. It's going to take me like. Three to four months to find a new one that I actually like. <laughs> like, what the hell, bro? You missed one detail. <laughs> not likely. You caught, bro. I'm not even here. What? Eh. What? I was never there. You've been FaceTiming me this entire time. No, hold What? This entire time. I'm actually in my house, chilling. You thought you was a step ahead the whole time. Nope. You weren't even talking to me. I've been chilling. I was chill. Good luck. Good luck trying to find me. Good luck. Wait, what do I need luck for? I don't need a thing. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm in your house. <laughs> That's not true. What the? Open up. Open up. How did you find me? <laughs> How? Open, open. <laughs> <laughs> how did you find me? I just love the distress. Like, how? How did you find me? Like, how, how did you find me? What? What did you do? <laughs> it's just like open the door. It's just to me, it's so good that he's able to go back and forth between the characters <laughs> so effortlessly yeah. and it's just uh it's like you so know both of them are him but it's yeah. like it actually works really well it's it's, <laughs> it's basically the perfect one man show mm. like the dude comes up with these hilarious stuff and just goes with it <laughs> it's so good oh really well i planted <laughs> i planted a bomb at your dry cleaner well that's too bad I actually planted the bomb in your dry cleaner. <laughs> well, I would be upset, but 
I'm not actually there. Wait, what? It's like, yeah, you've been FaceTiming me this entire time. That one, I was just like... It's like, what? Uh, what? What even? What the hell? Even? That's what he was trying to figure out. I was like, ha, ha, how? Ooh, what? How? What? <laughs> So good. It's like, but I watched you open the banana. And it's like, okay. I saw you like pull the th- pull the thermos out of your friggin' cu- your your pocket. What? What? <laughs> uh, I hope Caleb City keeps like just creating these skits forever, dude, because he's just so good at it. <laughs> he is a legit hilarious cr- uh, content creator. Uh, one of the best things ever, too, is um, he got a sponsor. At one point, uh-huh. and so he put out a video, and it was like a commercial, but it's also a skit. And it was like his sponsorship video commercial, but he made a whole fucking skit out of it, and it was amazing. Like it was just as funny <laughs> as his other videos. It's like I've watched it again because, like, it's the only commercial I've ever gone back to to like watch like multiple times. Besides, like, some of those old internet really, histo- for me, old it's really, oh well, yeah, and some of those really old like funny Super Bowl commercials, you know. <laughs> Like the freaking, uh, you know, the caveman trying to send the bones, like, it's like, whoa, whoa, and he sends the pterodactyl and the T-Rex, like, and just eats it, you know, and then he's like, package didn't make it, and he's like, do you use FedEx? And he's like, no. no. And he's like, then you're fired. And he's like, but FedEx hasn't been invented for millions of years. And he's like, not my problem. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, like, okay. For me, I, I always go back to the, uh, like, the Doritos commercials of old. Uh, the one is like literally. Uh, he's like, "All right, dude, I'll be back in the. I'll be back in like a week. I'll see you then." And it flash forward to one week later, and the dude's sitting there, and he's just still eating Doritos. And then they, he hears the news broadcast tell the day. He's just like, and he looks, and like everything he was supposed to be taking care of, like the goldfish is dead, the plants are <laughs> dead, the place is a friggin' mess, and he's just he goes around, and he's just like. Eh. And he, like, sprinkles Dorito, like, Doritos into stuff. He sprinkles Doritos into the fish bowl. The fish comes back to life and starts swimming all over the place. He, he does that to the plant. The plant comes back to life. He cleans up. He sweeps everything up. And then he knocks an urn off the, off the pedestal. And it, you see a picture next to it, and it's like an old man. And he, he sees the picture, and he looks down at the ashes. Oh, and then gosh. It, and, huh? So old Lord. And then he cuts back. To the dude walking in, he walks in and then he drops his uh, luggage on the ground. He goes, "Grandpa," <laughs> yeah. and then the, his grandpa's sitting there covered in dust, and he's like, "Billy, huh?" <laughs> he gets up, he's like, "Grandpa, I missed you so much." <laughs> and the dude's just still sitting there eating Doritos. And then there was another one. It was a. Uh, I haven't seen that, but that sounds pretty. That funny. that one's hilarious. And then the other one was a. Uh, uh, dude was obsessed with like cheesy fing you know, like you the cheesy fingers you get after eating Doritos, and he just, he was just like, uh, dude Fish is eating like a thing of Doritos, and his friend comes up behind him, and he's like, are you gonna finish that? He's like, oh, I've I've already finished the Doritos, man. He's like, and then all of a sudden he like pulls his finger into he he pulls his fi- friend's hand over and like puts his finger into his mouth. He's like, mmm, cheese. And it's like this stupid, awkward silence between the two of them. And then later it shows a guy who just got finished eating Doritos, and he, like, w- like, like wipes his hands off on his pants, and the dude walks up behind him, rips his pants off in the middle of the <laughs> just standing there in his underwear. And the dude's just like, oh. <laughs> that's fucking weird. I know. The other the one that's always stuck in my head forever is if you get structure payments, but you need cash now. Call JG Wentworth 877 cash now. 877 cash now. 877 cash now. They've helped millions, they'll help you to one lump sum of cash they will pay to you. you. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is freaking amazing. You can't. You it's can't, the best musical commercial of all time, hands down. No contest. It's up there. It's it's definitely up there. Uh, no other jingle comes close, except for possibly the Duncan Hills coffee jingle in Metal Apocalypse, which is not a real one. Do you folks like coffee? Real coffee. Dun, dun, from dun, the dun, hills dun, of dun, Columbia. Dun, dun, dun.
dun 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 God. I'm gonna get some now. No. Scream for your cream. I love that solo too. You might want to edit that shorter because people are probably like, all right, shut the fuck up again. We can't help ourselves, guys. We're big fucking nerds. Deal with it. <laughs> I'll edit that out. What the fuck? Yeah, for those of you who did not want to sit through us recanting Metalocalypse, I'm sorry. <laughs> you for the just put the, be- time. the beginning of it and then cut to the end of it. And just like, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, we can't help ourselves. We're big friggin' nerds, and we both like metal music. Anyway, that was uh, "When the Hero Is Just as Smart as the Villain" by uh, Caleb City. Hopefully, you all enjoyed, and hopefully, uh, we will see y'all in the next one. But I guess until then, everyone signing off. I'm Nate. I am Nick. We'll see you later, everyone. Peace.